What's up? It's Alexa. Today I'm showing you how to make my most popular phone case ever. It used to be the Jack Skellington case, if you remember, if you've been here since literally the first video I ever posted. One of my most popular cases to date, the Jack Skellington Halloween case. But now it's this chocolate, candy, pink, super cute themed case that you can see here. And I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really easy. All the supplies I'm using in this video are linked below on decadentdream.com. You can click shop supplies. They are affiliate links, so I'll get like a couple cents every time you buy something, but it's not any extra charge to you. So it just really helps me out if you do that. The first thing you'll need is obviously a phone case. Like I said in my last how-to video, you want to look for one that's polycarbonate and acrylic. You can use one that has TPU in it, like a TPU bumper with an acrylic back or something like this case, I think. But you do not want a completely TPU phone case. It'll be way too flexible and the silicone just won't stick to it. So definitely look out for that. I've linked a lot of iPhone cases on my store below, but if there's a specific case you're looking for, I can try to link a case for that phone or you can find your own. Yeah, just don't buy a TPU phone case. <laughs> Next, you'll obviously need the silicone. This is a different one than I have linked below, but it's the same thing pretty much. You can look for up at the top left-hand corner. It says C920. You can get clear, white, black, whatever color you want, but the C920 is what I use. This one for some reason is more expensive. It's just the only one they had at Walmart and I needed silicone like on a whim. So yeah, you can skip this part if you don't care about the supplies, just skip to this timestamp. But then you will also need a silicone gun. It's about a dollar at Walmart, maybe two dollars. I think I've linked some, but I didn't find any as cheap on Amazon. So definitely recommend the Walmart one because it's the cheapest. You will also need piping bags. These are just 12 inch bags. Some brands just make them way too flimsy. This brand is really good and they stay together. I heard from somebody I think that they make biodegradable piping bags. I haven't done any research on that yet. I said I would and I will get to it, but it seems kind of crazy that they would be biodegradable. But if you find those, let me know. Then you'll need some scissors, very basic. You'll also need a cup or like something to just hold the piping bag open while you put silicone in it. Then you will need piping tips. I like number 21 piping tips the best. You can also use a number 32. Those look really cool. I've used a round tip piping tip. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't sound right in my head. I've used a round tip piping tip before and it looked really crazy in that Harry Potter video. I don't know, I think I still like the 21s the best. What we have here are actually two different brand 21 piping tips, so they might look a little bit different once I start making the case, but that's okay. You'll see how to do this. This is one of the easiest cases to make. You'll need little cups or half water bottles, anything you can use to mix silicone. I use popsicle sticks to mix the silicone too. You can use like anything, like I said in the last video, like old pencils, whatever you want. And then if you're looking to make this specific case, you will need two piping tips, two cups, two things to mix the silicone, and then you'll need two different acrylic paints, white and a light pink. Any acrylic paint works. Some of them are even 50 cents at Walmart. I have some linked below. I think this brand linked below on my Amazon, but I think these specifically are from Walmart and they were probably like 50 to 80 cents, very cheap. And you only use like a tiny drop. That's everything except the decorations. The reason this is a really easy case for beginners too is because you can get most of these decorations in one pack, which I have linked on my Amazon too. Sometimes like I'll make a case where I use decorations from a bunch of different packs and it's like, if you're only making one case, you probably don't want to buy four different like bags of decorations just to pull four from each one or something. I'm pretty much just using chocolate ones today, which all come in one pack, which I have linked below. If you feel like it, you can also buy some lollipop ones, which usually only come in like a pack with other candies, but the lollipops like really add a nice pop of color, especially if you have one with pink in it. So I'll probably use that one. And then a couple just regular old pink decorations like flowers or something will really help tie it together, but you definitely don't need to do this because we're going to put pink in the background. So sometimes decorations get hidden when the background's the same color, but I think it'll end up really cute if we just have like a little bit this is a classic mistake my piping tip was just in that cup and i have put the silicone in there without realizing it just make sure your cups are empty oh here we go again see i almost didn't check that one by the way this case on the back of my phone is the one that kayla designed me in a video i will put the link to that right up here it's a little more advanced than what we're doing today just because you have to change colors a bunch let's get to the next step not a big fan of this step i have tried to use sandpaper it doesn't scratch it enough and then also tried to use a dremel and it takes way too long so we're gonna use the scissors so you take your scissors I don't even want to recommend this, but open scissors and just like lightly scratch the back just to get it a little bit rougher. You don't want it to be perfectly smooth. And if you care about your table, don't do it on your table. I'm being really careful not to touch the table, but a lot of times you'll just do it and it'll go and touch the table and scratch it. I like doing this on the floor. I go like diagonal one time. A lot of times too, I'll try to scratch the corners a little extra because if the case ever peels, it always starts at one of the corners, never in the middle. So it's good to get the corners a little extra. And then after going diagonal the one way, you go diagonal the other way. And then we'll go vertically and horizontally. Now that it's scratched, 
it's nice to get this dust out of the way. Next, you'll mix the silicone. Actually, we should, we should get a design going, duh. I'm using a picture of the other cases I've made like this for reference. None of them are exactly the same, but they're really close. I always go back to the first one I ever made like this because otherwise it's like a game of telephone because everyone is a little bit different if I keep making it based on the last one I made, then it might be a totally different case in a few cases. I always kind of put things in like little clusters like this. Like I'll put like three things there, three things there. Probably put another flower down here because there's one at the top. That's another thing is I really like balance. If there's something up here, I'll put the other, if there's two of them, I'll put the other one on like the opposite side. That's like something they teach you in school, but I don't know if artists back in the day were thinking like, let me balance it. Like how they teach you to draw a face, they make you like draw an oval and then put like a cross in it and then your eyes go right on the line. Like when people were drawing realistic faces back in the day, I've said something like this before in a video, but when people were drawing realistic faces back in the day, were they thinking like, let me draw this X or were they just drawing it like from memory, like from picture, maybe like a photographic memory and it just happened to work out. I don't know if they were doing all that drawing lines and stuff. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'll take a picture of that. You probably will have some extra if you bought the same like chocolate pack as me. I have missed this so much though, just filming. I haven't made a video in a long time. That last one I posted, I was out of town and then I'm also moving right now, which is why I'm always in like a weird spot. But the vlog for that trip that I went on, I said I was out of town. The vlog is up now if you're seeing this. It's uploading right now as I'm sitting here. As you can see, I just cut the piping bag about a third way up the piping tip. Like if you put the piping tip next to the bag, maybe cut like a centimeter off just so the tip can stick out. But if you squeeze the bag, it's not gonna like push it out because I've done that before, not fun. And then you'll do that with both bags. We're not doing a dual tone today it's gonna be checkerboard now you'll need your two cups and the silicone i want to say we'll use like five pumps but it's different with every silicone gun so fill the cups a little over halfway if you're using cups about this size Good enough. I'm definitely gonna have extra, but especially if this is your first case and you are a beginner, having extra is a little better because running out is no fun. I'm gonna have to plug this camera in. I don't know why I bother wearing like skirts for these videos because you can't even see unless I do something like that, like get up and charge the camera. So we'll put a tiny drop of each color. I'm trying to do this so you can see it, but watch that. That's kind of a lot, but that's okay. The only thing that happens if you do too much is it'll take a little longer to dry. Maybe two drops, like that's fine. The white kind of came out faster than I expected, but that's okay. And pretty much just mix it until it's all one color. Cause it will be like a little stripey when you first start mixing it. The reason you have this is so like you can keep the piping bags open. Like I said, just scoop it in. And you don't have to do it, but I always keep like a plastic bag down here as a garbage. Pull it off and then like fold these corners back up. So it's just straight and mix the pink. I had somebody ask about air bubbles recently. Try not to mix it too aggressively. You can mix it fast, but if you kind of like make air pockets, I think that's how air bubbles happen. I've had air bubbles in the piping bag before and then when you squeeze it, it just like pops and then obviously no silicone comes out. I don't know, I've learned to kind of work with it. Same thing, take this one off. Fold it back up. Next, you'll take something flat. I use the paint usually, the bottom of it, cause it's kind of rounded, which I like. And then you just like, push the silicone all the way down to the bottom until it's just about to come out. Big fan of pink cases, if you can't tell. Big fan of pink in general. I even recently got pink snow pants, so it's cool. Now you can actually see me if I'm out on the hill. Now we're gonna start making the case. This one, like I said, it's pretty easy to do this one if you're a beginner. Obviously like dump the decorations off. Start with the pink. You'll twist up the bag so that silicone can only come out the end and not go back up the bag. Put the twisted part between your thumb and your index finger, like right in the crease, wrap your hand around it. And I don't know if that's probably self-explanatory, but it's it definitely helps to hold it that way. Then you have like pretty good control. The silicone, as you can see, is about to come out. I'll start at the corner, hold the piping tip at about a 45 degree angle towards the top of the case like this. Hold it exactly in that spot. Don't let the piping tip come off the case. Squeeze until the puff is as big as you want and then pull back. And as long as you keep the piping tip in the same spot, the puff will get bigger without going in a line or like without deforming. So then imagine that we're doing it right next to it because we're doing a checkerboard pattern. Skip that spot and go here. Same thing, 45 degree angle, hold it in the same spot. Squeeze and pull back. And then we'll switch to the white. Same thing, just twist it up. Put the twisted part between your thumb and index finger. Squeeze. And then we're gonna go right into that spot where we skipped. 45 degree angle. Hold it in that spot and squeeze. And then pull it back. And then because we're doing a checkerboard, like I keep saying, we're gonna put it also under the pink puffs. So 45, hold in the same spot. 
squeeze, same thing. Now this is the start of our checkerboard. So then we'll just continue the same pattern. Squeeze, 45, squeeze, squeeze, and that's that. Now every row is going to get a white puff. Under the pink one, that one's a little deformed, but if you mess up on one of the puffs, a lot of times the decoration will cover it and no one's ever gonna see that part, but it does help to do like neat puffs. So yeah, and we'll just continue the same pattern all the way down the case. That one is super deformed. When you get to the end, what I really like to do, I see most decadent people do this, I think it looks really clean. You can go uh, horizontally across the case in that same pattern. This one will be white, big mess going on at the bottom of the case, and then pink, whoa. That doesn't look that good, but we'll cover it with the pieces. But you know, even the best fall down sometimes or whatever, not that I'm one of the best, but like everyone makes mistakes, even someone who's done this for three years now. <laughs> and then a white one. And then to finish it off, we'll do a pink one, but this is a little bit different. I don't think I explained this in the last how-to. So we'll do same thing. We're doing 45 degree angle, but now going horizontally, same spot, squeeze. But then when you get to the end, pull it off just a little bit and then swirl. And that puff is a little bit messed up too, but it happens. You can do either color behind the decorations. This time you're doing the same thing, 45 degree angle and squeezing, but not pushing the piping tip against the case. So you just have to keep your hands steady in the same spot. Then we'll do this chocolate. That's what I had. I kind of push it down more at the bottom than the top so it like sticks off a little bit, but you can do whatever you want. Whatever you think looks good, no rules. Same thing with the pink. Squeeze, pull it back. Really cute so far. I really like it with the red. And then maybe for this flower, I'm not gonna put a puff behind it. Just like stick it on and push it down. You don't have to put silicone behind every decoration, but I think it looks really cute when you do pink again. Yeah, you just kind of wing it and then sometimes I'm like, eh, like right now there's kind of a lot of pink, not a lot of white, so the next one I'll do white. But you can see how the decorations cover a lot of the puffs, so if you mess up on one it's usually gonna be hidden. Big one. It's so funny. When my dog won't come inside, I'll be like, treat, treat, whatever. But now she wouldn't come for these little tiny treats. I started being like, it's a big one. And then she'll come running. So now every time instead of treat, I have to say it's a big one and then she'll come. So now I'm putting the lollipop on. And a lot of times I'll stick the stem of the lollipop in first before pushing the top down. So I'll like stick it in and then just push it down. And then it looks like the messed up part that I messed up earlier is going to get covered. Sweet. A lot of times too, because I don't have nails, maybe you do, I'll use like the tips of the scissors to push things in just because I don't want my fingers to like mess up the silicone. Watch your sleeves too. I've definitely had sleeves mess up cases. Super cute. So that's it. It turned out really cute. Hopefully yours turned out really cute too. If this was the first case you ever made, let me know how it goes or send me a picture on Instagram at Decadent Dream. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you had any questions and I'll see you next time.